Hi, I'm Mike. Today we celebrate Mother's Day, and I figured there's no better way than the fact that we have 160 moms out here. So today we celebrate motherhood on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Welcome to our Wyoming life. Today being Mother's Day, I thought we'd take a break from our usual and take a little drive around the ranch. Celebrate what actually makes the ranch a ranch because without moms, there wouldn't be anything for us to do here. And if this is your first time here, thanks for joining us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We post videos three times per week in an effort to bring you closer to a life that many never get to experience. We take you with us through it all, the good times and the bad, and we invite you to become a part of our family. Hit that subscribe button and join us on a ride through raising cattle, market farming, ranch style cooking, family, and so much more. When it all comes down to it, the ranch is built on family. Not just our human family, but the families that build and extend out here in the pasture. Every spring brings new life to the ranch as calves are born, new chickens arrive, eventually piglets, and behind every single bit of this new life is a mom. And we have a lot of new moms right now and here to celebrate. Calving for us started back in March as our first time moms started having calves. We kept them close to home. And now that they've had calves, they're all out here in the pasture with the experienced moms who are currently having their calves as well. I'd like to think that cows, especially new moms, learn about being moms every day. And I can imagine that being a new mom to a baby calf, well, it isn't easy. Each one of these cows are now expending more calories than they're taking in to produce milk for their calves. Most will actually lose weight over the next few months as their calves will gain weight at a rate of two to two and a half pounds per day or 75 pounds per month. As they feed their calves, they're also passing on antibodies to help keep their calves healthy. In fact, from the moment each of these calves are born, their mom's motherhood instinct, well, it kicks into overdrive. Their first instinct is to clean their calves. Now, this may seem counterproductive, but by licking her calf, she's actually drying it off and helping warm it up. Then it's time to coax the calf to stand and drink. Most calves will be up and standing within a few minutes of being born, although most are pretty shaky in the beginning. Falling, then getting up again, many times falling again until their legs are underneath them. But once mom helps them and they have the confidence and the strength to stand on their own, then it's time for them to get that first drink. And it's the first of many. A calf will be fed approximately 10% of their body weight per day. Each quart weighs about two pounds. So a 100 pound calf can drink 10 pounds, five quarts or 1.25 gallons per day. And there's lots of studies out there about how many calories it takes for a cow to produce a gallon of milk. And they differ from beef cattle to dairy cattle. But as the grass continues to grow, beef cattle will produce the milk they need to feed their calves and keep them growing. Moms also protect their calves from predators and weather. When predators are in the area, well, you can tell, you can often see cows starting to bunch up, moving calves towards the middle of the group in order to shelter them and protect them as much as possible. And as bad weather moves in, cows will position themselves on the side of their calves the weather's coming in from, protecting and sheltering their calves with their own bodies and at their own expense. Every day I spend with the cows and calves, I learn something, like watching a mom desperately look for her calf she looks like a mom whose kid has wandered off at the grocery store and she's checking every aisle, searching frantically, almost in a panic. A cow that loses her calf will do the same thing, moving across the pasture in almost a grid-like pattern, searching, bellowing, and you can see the panic in her eyes until her calf is found or returned to her. As the calves grow, well, mom's out here, let go a little bit, and eventually calves are almost on their own. By midsummer, you're gonna see calves with their moms, but usually only at meal times. Then they get the green light to go out and explore on their own or in groups, quickly learning the ways of the cows, eating grass themselves and beginning to wean themselves off their mom. A calf can be ready to start weaning in as little as four to five months of age. And some will wean themselves off much earlier 
as mom and calf begin chasing better and more abundant grass, and left to their own devices, a calf will only stick with its mom for about 10 months. And by that time, they're ready to go out on their own. And mom can be happy she's done a good job, and she's also done her part to support the ranch, where she lives and thrives. And every day, I like to, come, like to come out and thank the cows for being good moms, for taking care of their calves, the ranch, and our family. I'd also like to take this time to thank a couple more great moms. First of all, my mom uh, for putting up with me for many hard years and still being there when I needed her. I'd also like to thank Aaron's mom, Rita, who lives with us right here on the ranch. And without her help and what she's done for us, well, we wouldn't be here where we are today. Of course, I'd also like to thank Erin, my wife, and Mackenzie, Grace's, and Lincoln's mom. She works hard, but she still takes the time to be the best mom that she can be. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I love when you make us dinner. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Um, I love you because you take me to school. Uh, okay. Oh. Can't really say Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, of course, to all the moms out there. Being a kid myself once many, many years ago, I know that it's not easy. You can get frustrated, you can feel lost and alone and overwhelmed, but you also give us the best gift that you can give, and that's life. Life that shines on everything. And the hard work you put in every day is not ignored. After all, you had the original dirty job. Happy Mother's Day from our Wyoming life. Thanks for joining us today. Enjoy your day, try to relax. Of course, I think as I say this, Erin's planning on going out in the garden this morning, but for her it works. It's her happy place, and I hope that you find yours. Until next time, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming Life.